whether you're newer into real estate or you've been in the industry a while, you're, I'm sure that you've noticed the current market shift and that we're going to have to make some necessary changes going into 2023. And so, of course, we all know if you don't make any changes, then nothing is going to change. And unfortunately, with the market shift, good or bad, depending on how you look at it, next year is not projected to be any easier. So today I wanna to share with you some simple things that you can put into place to make sure that you're not only gonna crush your goals next year, but you're gonna to totally surpass them and create a very well versatile business. Hi, my name is Mike Marie Watt. I'm with eXp Realty, where I coach and train thousands of real estate agents all over the globe. And I wanna share with you some simple things that I did in the last downturn market to make sure that I built a sustainable business. And number one, it's gonna start with simple, do not give up. And of course, as we go through this, we're gonna get into some very in-depth examples, but the first one is starting with your own mindset and not giving up. And I say this because it's been projected that nearly 30% of real estate licensees, as we stand right now, are, going to, are expected to get out of the business in the next year or two. And personally, I hate to see that happen. And so I know for us, we're really doubling down on our education platforms, on the value that we provide agents to make sure that agents aren't part of that statistic. So don't give up and understand that you're going to have to make some necessary changes. And what I mean by that is if you've been licensed after 2020, the market was completely different than anything that we've ever seen before. So you're going to have to identify that and really make some necessary changes. And with that said, it starts with our mindset first. I'm sure you've heard me say that before. And with the market shift, it comes opportunity. So it's all in how you take a look at it. And as I mentioned, I got licensed in October of 2009. And the last shift of the market, uh, which was quite a bit you know, worse than what I think we're projecting this one to be, and that was some of the best years that we ever had. So it's all in how you take a look at the opportunity. So. Just know, don't give up. Look at this going in as a major opportunity to stand out and really build a huge business. So the next one here is it's really important as we're going into the new year to do a self and a business audit. And we all know what gets measured gets managed. So what do I mean by that? It's really important if you're not tracking your numbers now that we've got to start today because as I just mentioned, what gets measured gets managed. And over time, you can't make necessary adjustments in your business, in your sources, in your database, and things like that if you don't know what's working for you. So one of the things that I find that top producers, top producers are doing right now in their self and business audits is really focusing on their lead generation buckets and doubling down on what's working instead of you know, as a real estate agent, we can wear a hundred different hats, you know, where there's all these different shiny objects and how to get new buyer leads and new seller leads in this program and pay more money for these leads. And all of that's great and can build your business. But at the end of the day, you wanna make sure that you have a profitable business. There's a financial investment, but also a time investment in anything that you do. So you've really gotta audit what you've been doing over the last few years and then double down on what's working and really hone in and focus on that one thing. So, and if you're newer to real estate, I always recommend that you have at least, or, or no more than four lead generation buckets. What do I mean by that? Maybe um, open houses is a lead generation bucket. Maybe you rent, run Facebook ads and that's a lead generation bucket for you. I wouldn't have any more than four. If you're not sure which ones you have right now, Go ahead and choose for going into the new year, but only introduce one per quarter. I think a lot of times we just get into the new year and we wanna start everything all at once and that's where we get overwhelmed. And honestly, that's one of the worst things that you can do. So fortunately for us, you know, real estate operates in 90 day cycles. So we really, if you think about it, you don't wanna revisit your goals once a year. I would argue you should revisit your goals every single day but more importantly, you could really evaluate them every single quarter because real estate really does operate in 90 day cycles. So that gives you the opportunity to make some of those adjustments that are necessary. So really look at your lead generation buckets, look at your sources of business if you've been a licensed agent for a while and look at where your business is coming from and then really hone in 
and focus on those lead generation buckets. When we talk about marketing versus prospecting, I think the last couple of years, because we've had this all-time high market, a lot of real estate agents have been focusing on the marketing side of their business. And that's kind of like just throwing something at the wall and hoping that it sticks. When in reality, prospecting is where we control the outcome of our business. So, um, you know, I've got a class actually this afternoon. If you want to attend or want to see the recording, go ahead and drop a comment below for our business planning class. But prospecting ultimately is where you're going to control the outcome in your business, reverse engineer your numbers, know exactly what activities you should be doing every single day, every single week, every single month to be able to hit those marks every single time. So narrow down, double down, focus on what works. And of course, less is more. So no more than four lead generation buckets. As I mentioned, introduce one per quarter and master your one thing. Also, I think it's really important now more than ever to protect your time. And really there's a huge difference. I think a lot of real estate agents, we, we can be busy, right? So we can definitely keep ourselves busy eight hours a day, 10 hours a day, 12 hours a day. But there's a difference between being busy versus being productive. And that's really where it's very important to focus on your IPAs, your income producing activities. So when I say busy, it's not, oh, I did a little bit of laundry here. I did the dishes here. I answered a few emails and now I've worked all day. It's about really being intentional on your prospecting activities. As I mentioned, that's where you're gonna control the outcome. So although those other things are important in your life and in your business, you're gonna say, okay, between this hour and this hour, I'm gonna have a non-negotiable time frame. really go back to the basics and I'm going to prospect, whether that's you know, going after FISBOs or calling expireds or you know, just cold calling or what have you, whatever your lead generation is, during this time and this time, I'm going to focus on that and nothing's going to distract me because the reality is there's very rarely an actual emergency in your day. Now, if there's an emergency, obviously you've got to uh, take care of that. But for the most part, turn all your notifications off and really double down and focus. And if you just focus you know, an hour a day, two hours a day, what have you on your prospecting, on your lead generation buckets, that's where you're gonna consistently create your business over time and to take away all other distractions only do the things that are fitting into those lead generation buckets that you have put on your business plan. Also, it's really important when you're self audit to look at who you're surrounding yourself with. You know, it's always said that you're the average of the five people that you surround yourself with and that couldn't be more true. And it's simple math, you know, are the people that you're surrounding yourself, are they adding to your life? Are they subtracting? More importantly, are they dividing or are they multiplying? Of course, we wanna be around the adders and the multipliers. And so in reality, it's important. I'm not saying that you can't have other friends, but you've got to do a self audit of where am I now? Where do I want to go? And who can I surround myself that really has my best interest to help me get there? And so it's important to look at who you're surrounding yourself with. And last but not least, be committed and stay consistent. You know, nothing is ever worth doing if you're not at least able to commit to it for at least 12 months. So I think that's where a lot of real estate agents are gonna get a little bit deflated right now because the last couple of years have been great. This year we started to see the change and then next year there's a lot of unknowns. So that's where people are gonna give up and get out of the industry. So if you'll just pull through, if you'll stay committed, this is an amazing industry, surround yourself with the right people. I know for us, we're doubling down on our education platforms and our value that we can provide agents. So if you wanna look at what that looks like and partner with us and let us help you in your business, definitely go ahead and comment below or send us a message. But it's important to stay committed to the process and stay consistent. And as long as you're doing the right things every single day, you're going to ensure that you're gonna win in the end. So go ahead and like, comment, subscribe as we're dropping new content every single week. Thank you for watching.